if we talk about cloud in general then you may find many fancy definitions about cloud on the internet on some books but the most genuine and practical definition that the cloud have is that your software and my hardware the whole purpose of cloud was to disintegrate the software from the hardware and everything else comes later so the main gist of any cloud system is that i should be able to host my software into any hardware that is present as a cloud infrastructure okay so earlier we used to have a single hardware uh, i mean if we, if you assume it as a server then this server had the hardware that means cpu ram nic and disk and uh, that hardware configuration used to be fixed and then it used to have an operating system a single operating system and an application used to run on top of that operating system while cloudification when we converted everything into cloud now the same system can be imagined like this so you still have a hardware you have a server here which we call it the cot server or commercially of the shelf server and there is a virtualization layer on top of it so with the advent of virtualization and cloud computing now it is possible to deploy or to host more than one applications on the same hardware so here uh, we can allot or allocate that much amount of hardware virtual hardware to to these vms to these virtual machines that is required by them okay so what we have achieved using this virtualization is the disaggregation of hardware and software which avoids a vendor lock in so i can host my application or more than or like many of such applications on any hardware of my choice this is one and another advantage is uh, we now have efficient use of resources that means cpu ram and disk to avoid over and under utilization of the hardware okay so here this server hardware might have been uh, under utilized or over utilized as per the application so in that case you need to put another hardware or another server uh, in, uh, adjacent to it or it might be under utilized but now here you can allocate those that much resources which are required by the application okay and you can reconfigure the resources as per the requirement so that was the whole purpose of cloud mainly to disintegrate hardware and software now let us see the example of some applications using cloud let us dig deep more about it so an application can be a musical application an online musical music application a social media app it can be an online learning platform or it can be an online shopping website or a portal so all of these are examples of a cloud based application <clears throat> or any other application for that matter so every application generally every web application has three layers as presented here so the first layer is the web or presentation layer which we call the ui so the, the ui is the front ending uh, interface for the end user on which uh, the user operates and selects some something and uh, basically the ui is the interaction point uh, with the application by the user then comes the application layer or the processing layer where uh, the data gets processed and then comes the database layer where each and every state has been saved into a database so if there are if if this is a big application then there will be multiple databases for multiple components so generally this is a typical three layer web based application and uh, every such application has been uh, has been developed like this now similarly we have telco applications so i have given you example of this of of these generic applications so that you can understand the examples of telco applications better similarly we have telco applications so telco applications are like packet core nodes or ims boxes or epc mme pcrf hlr sss all of these are telco based applications which looks like this so there is a there is a there is a rack 
okay and in the racks we have so many hardware cards or boards present and these cards are interconnected by a back panel and we have some fans and power connections on the top and uh, uh, there are switches also between these uh, boards which interconnects all of them via back back plane right so a typical telco rack looks like this and generally all the modern uh, telco based uh, uh, applications are hosted in this kind of hardware now when we cloudify these applications whether they are uh, general applications so normal software applications daily use applications or telco applications now when they will be cloudified both of them will be hosted on a data center and a data center will look like this so this is this is a data center with let's say hundreds of cot servers and supporting services like networking analytics storage etc so it doesn't matter whether a telco application gets hosted here or a, a normal application gets hosted here okay every application will be hosted in a data center now if it has to be cloudified let us discuss what are public and private clouds